one week before the release of uh, Signs of Wings, our first album. And uh, I thought we make a little countdown with like one video every day until the release. Two days to go. I thought a Heaven's Gate song would be the right thing. <laughs> Originally, when I thought about like getting Adrian for the job of singing for the Masters of Ceremony, actually the name was not existing back then, I thought about a specific type of voice and I was actually thinking about a, a male singer. Never really thought about a female singer in the beginning because I had this like idea of somebody, of something like aggressive, like right in your face, screaming at you, like somebody like a, actually Thomas Redger from Heaven's Gate. And so I was thinking about getting a singer it was kind of natural for me. But then I was looking around and I didn't really find anybody that sings like this. I had the feeling like everything is so controlled and like a lot of trained singers and nobody really screams at me in a certain way. And suddenly I had this idea, but what about Adrian? I mean, I just worked with her like for Seven Spires. I heard stuff that I was like really astonished about. And, uh, and I also saw some old material that she, she really sang some old metal stuff. And I thought like she can probably really do it. Uh, I called her and she was totally right away interested. Of course. <laughs> interested. It was very, uh, I was very happy and then we decided to give it a try. And, uh, yeah. and then we thought like, how can we, can, can we check this out if, if it's going to go together fine or if it's like, if she likes it and if, if her voice uh, would fit the style I'm thinking about. And because she was actually singing a little bit different in, in the Seven Spires stuff. Totally different. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to make a little demo because she lives in America, obviously, and I live in Germany. So it's not like, uh, okay, maybe you come by tomorrow and we're going to do a little recording session. Maybe so, that would have been easier. <laughs> it would have been easier in the end because <laughs> uh, you, can, you can tell why, but uh, I just say before you take over, I just say, I thought a Heaven's Gate song would be the right thing. To, to check this out because I didn't actually really write any song yet for the new thing. So I thought I just record an old Heaven's Gate song um, that has this uh, little bit of this feel that I have in mind vocal wise. And I, I sent her two songs to choose from, like very old songs actually. One was uh, Under Fire and one was, uh, what was the other one? I don't okay, remember. <laughs> Surrender. Ah. Surrender from the yeah. first album. And she said right away, I want to do Under Fire. And we decided to, or she decided, because I said, like, I record it in a way that you want it. Uh, just, uh, just tell me the key. And that's what we're going to do. And so you have to feel, feel comfortable. Obviously, I don't want you to sing in, 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 a, in the wrong key. That make, doesn't make any sense. So she told me, I just put, push it up half a step and it's going to be fine. That's what I did. I recorded it. And then I sent it to her. And then... Uh, to make a long story short, uh, he made me record it three times uh, because up until uh, this recording, I had been singing with, uh, I guess, two different types of like extremes: one very controlled voice and one super screaming voice. And the first one was the more controlled one. Yeah, yeah. and I had drifted a long way from the way I used to sing before I knew Sasha, which was more old school, more um, aggressive, but still singing. So not like clean singing and screaming. Um, and this sort of middle ground, I guess, is what you were going for. Yes. And it took me quite some time to remember how to do that um, and then how to do it reasonably well. But I guess I did okay enough because here I am. Just have to listen one time from from the top and see where we are. <laughs> Energy wise. <laughs> I think we need just a little more edge to it. That was easy going then. Uh, yeah. Very easy going. And also by then we had kind of done more of this, the songs on the record. So I had a better idea yeah. also of what you wanted. Just check one more time. Mm -hmm. There's always a harmony to that one, you remember that. Mm -hmm. 
But I think once the thing was said, yeah. we, we didn't even have to talk about it anymore. Yeah. Just, oh, maybe this part, maybe can you do this? And or she, she suggested something or suddenly she sang it really aggressive. And I mean, actually, in the end, we have a little bit more of her style, of the really hard style that oh, she was yeah. using that, than uh, I was originally planning. <laughs> I like it when you do it silent. Silent. Twinkle. Twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> little twinkle. Yeah. Bob, Bob would say, Bob Ross would say, a little twinkle. Oh, I just thought it was so cool uh, because it just expanded the variety so much. And that's also what, what I now get back in return when I talk to people in interviews. It's the big variety on the vocal uh, on the album that they really love this and uh, very happy that she did it. I'm happy they uh, like but, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm also happy they like it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought like a little bit longer. Oh really? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Actually, I had a little bit of a hard time. It's just a simple sounding riff, but it was like a, a technique uh, in a way that I play different now. And it was like, oh, fucking hell, I get, got stuck on this mm. shitty riff. I was like, <laughs> shit. And uh, I, had, I needed a couple of minutes to really, yeah, to be able to play this without just getting stuck in a way. I was a little bit. So we had the same problem. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, I now was I feel like, better. what? Eh, eh, that's not a hard riff, but I was just, just always got stuck and was like, shit, I didn't learn anything all, <laughs> in all those years. But uh, how <laughs> was it for you to re-record the song? Of course, I was happy to do it, except uh, when you called me to redo it the first time, I had just completed a long hike in LA when I was still living there. And I was sweaty and tired, and I was thinking about how much power I would need from my diaphragm to deliver what it sounded like you wanted. But yeah, basically the same idea of trying to rediscover an old technique and having some trouble to access the old files. Yeah, it, it can be hard because I mean, you develop a certain, into a certain style over the years. It doesn't really matter if it's four years or five years. You know, it's really like I was, I totally changed my, my technique in a way of playing. I was a much more technical player when I was young. And uh, I don't care about that so much anymore. It's just like stuff that was totally super, I was super confident on back in the day. It was like, what? what? <laughs> and I, I guess it's the same for you. I mean, uh, you, you develop a certain vocal technique that yeah. you don't want to miss anymore. And, and yeah. then you suddenly try to combine it with the sound that you want to achieve. And mm -hmm. it doesn't go together right away. Yeah. Right? Uh, and I developed actually this, the, the new style that I ha was using. I had it because it was less detrimental and I could sing for longer and um, I was almost afraid to start singing so gritty, so hard, uh, like you wanted it. So I had to also get past this mental block of fear. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I'm so excited for shitty YouTube comments. Can't wait. <laughs> that's the little story about uh, Under Fire, I would say. Fairy tales, born in a sick mind that never fails. This is the sweet, I think. Oh no, I, it just, uh, it makes me happy to sing it. Mm -hmm. 